pile number two. Okay, we are back in action. We started out this pile with the magician, the one who has all the resources, all the contacts, the access, the ability, the talent, the skills to manifest anything you desire. And it looks like that manifestation is going to have it break you away from something you're currently doing now either a breakthrough in a chain of thought a breakthrough in opportunity a breakthrough in the change you've been looking for okay sometimes in order to receive what we actually want you have to let go of something that you think you need all right so let's go into it let's see what's going on Look at that, Hankman. So change of perspective, all right? A change of opportunity, a change in thought, a change in the way we're doing things, but most likely a change in the way we think about the things we need to have or acquire. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Something's definitely not in balance. It could also involve um, a Libra sign. I see some cardinal energy in here. Mm -hmm. But I think it's more so to do about how you think about money. Oh, yes, exactly. How you think about um, what your basic needs are and what you deserve and what you have. And this is also about going after something new that you've always wanted, something you've always hoped for. Yeah, something you didn't even believe you could have. Mm -hmm. It's like you've been blocking your own blessings by the way that you think. But I think now the time is divine time for you to create what you've always wanted to birth, to create what you always wanted to see. Create something that is not part of your family. Um, I want to say the part of your family, estate, part of your family, trait of thought, part of your family's um, legacy. This is something of your own. This is something of your own. Yeah, this is something that you've born of yourself. This is very, um, God bless the child, he's got his own. He's got his own. Absolutely. So I see a lot of generational curse breaking in here. Someone moving away from a place that was difficult, moving away from having to like walk on glass or walk in eggshells or feel uncomfortable, perhaps even your own home. Mm -hmm. No more of that. You're not taking that anymore. You don't even have to say anything. You just bounce. I think they intuitively knew. I think that cycle you were going through was broken. I think the roots of it at least are exposed. You know what it is that needs to be broken. Absolutely. You know your ticket, your way out. You know your way out. You know which next steps to take, okay? You know which next three steps to take. Um, and it might be three steps forward and, and three steps back for a little bit, a give and take, having the six of swords to be sold in reverse is you may not going you may not be going there now, but you know that somewhere over the rainbow does exist. Yeah, you'll get to go. So maybe you won't go by plane, you'll travel by boat. So that's to say, um, maybe mentally you can't achieve it, but emotionally you're already there. Mm-hmm. I think you're going to grow into it. Look at that uh, coming into balance. Daughter of Cups and Daughter of Swords. So this is like your head and your heart coming into alignment. And that's what needs to happen. That's what needs to happen. So, pile number two. Think about a question that means something to you. And I'm going to pull the most important card from this story. It looks like this one's actually popping up the most. Look at that. The Hermit. So going within yourself a spiritual journey um candle magic candle rituals um definitely moving slower so things aren't going as fast as you would like them to go but just trust that the thing that you manifest it might take a year for it to come in okay definitely also a strong reminder to get your head and heart into alignment and also that you may not be seeing something that's right in front of you you may not be seeing something that's right in front of you Okay, it might be a friendship that you cut off a long time ago, a spiritual belief, a thought, or religion, or a group, um, even a job. Let it go. Let love in. Bye.